Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore. We are here on Sapni, the planet that we are trying to turn into a wildlife world of slugs, where we're taking all of our slug cousins and slug brethren from the tap dancing bird slug species, the finna, and we're gathering all the slug species that we're finding, the alien species we're discovering, onto this particular planet. And we needed to go get one of the carnivorous species of slugs, and we managed to go get one. It is our wonderful little pompel. There we go. Yay. But the Pompel are actually now our allies, and we have set up a trade route to get their home world on one of the planets we have uplifted. So that is totally awesome. Ever, ever growing slug society. And we are also here. Let's see. I kind of want to use the creature tweaker to see if we can make more carnivorous slugs. So that's one of our other goals, is that we're going to try to make some more carnivorous slugs by using the creature tweaker. So I'm a little bit, little bit nervous, but I think it'll be fun. But since we are a slug race and we uplift specifically so many other slugs, I'm really hoping that we'll be able to find some really cool slugs uh, that we can add to this planet. All right, here we go. We're going to put down our beautiful blossom flowers and the adorable little teensy plant. Let's see, and then we need a bush, right? Ooh, these, these mushroom bushes. There we go. Stabilize the T-score. All right, what other slugs do we have with us that we haven't added yet? There we go. We've got the Kronkus. So they're a species we haven't added yet. And then I believe the Gom are actually close by. The Gom are actually, I think, they have spread. The Gom are another empire that has spread quite a bit as well. And we set them, they were our original founding species that we uplifted out here so we could get this planet from them so i'm pretty sure there's some gom on this planet right here that we can collect let me see uh, yep there's the gom because they're the the race that we uplifted into an empire over here all right gom gom little gom where are you little gom little gom i remember when these red cheese used to be one of my favorite gom Oh, there we go. Do you find some? Oh my gosh, so many. I don't want involved in your politics. Oh, there's some. Do you see them? There we go. Picked up a gom. Good, 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 good. So yeah, the gom are another one of our longtime allies that we've been working with for a long time. Yes, long time. And where have they spread? Because the gom are, are nearby. Is that the gom? No, is that the gom? Here they are. The gom are these green line guys. So the gom have been spreading all over the place too. Lots of slug races that we've uplifted over here and they've just like started spreading all over the place. Hey goms! They're actually militant. They're also one of the only militant slug races that we've accidentally raised so far. Here you go. Here you go guys. Have some of the green spice I've got. And then let's add one of your ships to my fleet. But yeah, we, we try to keep our strong alliances with all the other slug species. But I think it's so funny that the gom turned out to be like militant for once. And then the carnivorous slugs that we uplifted turned out to actually be very peaceful. They are our, one of our first like loves all of life sort of slugs. All right, back to Saptoon. Now that we've got the gom with us. I think we found about five to six or so different slug species. So... Let's see, we've got the Crocus, the Dubla, the ba Batsu, the Pompel, and now we have a Gom somewhere. Aha, there's a Gom. So there's a Gom, and now I need to use, let's see, since we found some Gom, I want to know what happens if I use the Creature Tweaker, because we need another carnivorous slug, and so far we've only found one carnivorous slug species. So if I take out my creature tweaker, super size, click on a planet creature to modify it. I want to modify this one. Ooh. We've not tried this trick too many times. Here we go. All right, we're gonna change you up my little friend. Oh my gosh, talk about science. Science gone wrong. Okay, now let's see the mouth. 
We're going to turn you into a carnivore. Ooh. What kind of carnivorous slug should we make you, though? Hmm. Hmm, that's a good question. A croc kisser? Oh, I kind of like that, actually. And then we'll shrink it. Shrink it. Uh, like this. Then the gom. They're so cute. They're so cute, but they're, they've got to be a carnivore this time. Let's change them up. Do we want them to tap dance? No. Mm, let's see. I think we'll give them better graspers. Better arm graspers. No, 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 no. Oh, we need a limb for this. I forgot about that. I don't know, but you start getting into limbs and it's not really like you're a slug anymore. You start getting into arms and legs and limbs and things like that, and you're not really a slug anymore. That's just not the way it works. Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's take these feet off. Can I keep you slug-like in some way? I need to, like, make you as slug-like as possible. You know what? Let's just make you a little bit, a little bit bigger around here. There we go. We'll give you some internal muscles that you can use. And then twist your tail up like this. Okay. Because it's got to be a slug species. And slugs don't really have legs. We're tap dancing slugs, but that's why we're in charge out of all the slug species. Because we are tap dancing slugs. Alright, we will give him something. Something on the end. Exoskeleton limbs. Whoa! Um, weapons, horns, reaper, porcupine, ooh, ooh, that makes him look so tough, like he's gonna bash you, ooh, and he can have little, <gasps> he can have little horns, oh my gosh, that's really cool, all sorts of cool little horns, I think, let's see, better eyes, hmm, I don't want to change the gom too much, but I do want them to be like predators. There, like this eye senses you. There, okay, we wanna keep them kinda simple. Well, let's go for more details. Let's see, more details. Ooh, hmm. Some cover leaves. Yeah, like he's, he's like hiding in the grass and you don't know he's there. Yeah, and he likes that, huh? Okay, hang on. Gotta make it bigger. No, not the spikes, the leaves. See, so he hides in the grass and you don't think he's there. And then, yeah, he's got you. He senses you with this little sensor ding. He's going to eat you. Let's get some defense on him, too. Man, we can just add so many cool things to this guy. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> he's like a carnivorous plant slug. I love it. Uh, oh, we could make him fly. Oh my gosh, that would be too cool. We could give him feathers. Okay, I like it. We're going to go with carnivorous plant slug. You don't see him. He senses you. He jabs you, and then he eats you. So he's he doesn't need legs, and he doesn't need feet because he doesn't go anywhere. He just kind of chills out in the same spot. So now, what about this coloration? What would that make him look like? Oh, it's perfect. He's like a lily slug. In fact, that's what we're going to like rename him. It's going to be lily slugs. So lily slugs, a species that hides in the wetlands and senses prey with the special receptors on its forehead. When the prey cl comes close enough, the lily slugs lash out with their spiky tails and then eat the prey with their crocodile-like mouths. There we go. So we've got lily slugs. I love them. So now what happens? Now that we tweak to the creature, now where are they? You know what I mean? So where do we find the creature we tweaked? That's always been what confuses me. We made it, right? We made it. We tweaked the gom. But where are they? Are they in our inventory? <gasps> There's lily slugs in our inventory now! Oh my gosh. We made carnivorous slugs. This is so thrilling. There we go. We added them on. There's the lily slugs. The lily slugs are here. 
We can make our own slug species empire. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We've got to make another another cool carnivorous slug. Okay, let's add to it. Warm this planet up a little bit. Make sure we've got the plants prepared. Which plants do I want to add? Hmm. The Incatanth? Yeah, probably the Incatanth. I think we'll, we'll do this this one. Maybe the Gents. I'm very picky about the trees that go on here. Ooh, or the Porta Ruffle. The Twessel. The Twessel? Or the Incatanth? Gotta choose now, Siri. Gotta choose now. The Incatanth. Oh, I hope that was the right choice. Yeah, I like it. It's more a blue hue than purple. I'm okay with that. And then the Gents. And then we only have the Wampus on us, unfortunately. So there we go. Wow, look at how it's looking on the map. Oh my gosh. What a lovely planet. And we have lily slugs on it. Lily slugs, that's so cool. So cool, okay. So next up, do we have any other slug species that we haven't added yet? I don't think so. So I think now we're good. We're gonna keep these lily slugs on us and spread them out. And as we find more slug species, we'll return to this planet. And then when it's time, we will create another carnivorous slug. Oh my gosh. I'm very happy with that. I think, let's see, let's double check what slugs we have real fast. Because I think we're missing a couple that are already here. So we've got the lily slugs, which we just made, the gom, the crocus, the dwabble, the batsu, the pomple. Let's go check our herbivore, our other herbivore planet real fast. Uh, the fulfilled, like the filled one. Because I think we're missing one. Ooh, look at all that green spice that's already ready for us. Nice. Gonna pick up that green spice. And then did we have, I feel like we had another slug species other than the gom that we uplifted back home. So we might pop back home, check on them. Make sure that we've got everybody. All right, and then we've picked up some new aliens that we can drop off. Not the glass insect, as cool as that would be. The jamons. The giant bird eye guys that we decided we'd keep. And then, let's see, the Batsu we now have a new home for. So we'll just keep our hands on those. These ribbits, the rhinoceros pig things. They're so cool. All right, the lily slugs. Wow, we've got two slug species on us. That is so neat. All right, we already put the avers down here. Good, so now we're free. We're free to do a little bit of exploring again. Oh my gosh. We've done so much terraforming, so much adventuring, and now we can do a little bit of exploring. So let's go dash off into the deep reaches of space and see what's going on. And also pick up uh, any more of the spice before we go. Dang, they're fast. Good. Oh, so fun. Whoa, so busy. I can't see what's going on. What's going on up here? Okay, they want to declare war at us. We're happy to declare allyship with the Flut Empire, I guess. Um... These guys, the Wobbles are send the Wobbles keep sending us money, so let's just come over and put them out of their misery and become allies with them. Come here, Wobbles. A new galactic presence is felt. Welcome. What are you called? I am the Finna, and I come in peace, my friends. Spiritual harmony. All right, so you you guys are those kind of guys. Um, let's see. Diplomacy. Philosophy of harmony. Here, we're gonna set up an alliance to make you guys feel better. They're on a T2. We can't really overlook any anything half the time anymore because every time I don't think there's gonna be slugs, there's slugs. So let's crawl on the ground, do a little scanning real fast. I like your trees. I can already tell I like your, your guys' trees. They've got like muddy water and ravines. What's over here? Oh my gosh! It's another plant creature. I love it. Come here, come here, Brabbit. Come here. Sorry, I took some of your plants. I was just going for the little rabbit thing. All right, what's over here? Oh, somebody's down here. The Mudge. They're they're hanging out by this little river. What is it? I want to look at you. They're cool looking. Oh, what's over here? The Watsuri are hanging out up here. They look kind of like apes from this point of view. Yeah, they're kind of like ape creatures. All right, there's a couple more herbivores kicking around. Oh, what's, what are these? You guys new? No, just more of the Watsuri, I think. Oh, these guys are new. Stampede. 
cool. All right, what do we have over here? Whoops, slow down. Aw, and two berries. And I think there's a carnivore nearby. I can't believe we made carnivorous slugs. That is so cool. You guys, the Arcus. Ooh, actually, that's a pretty cool looking carnivore. We are okay on carnivores right now, though. We might come back and snag that one when we set up another wildlife sanctuary. Nice, nice going, Wobbles. I like it. I like it. All right. Now, can we finally do a little bit of exploring? Finally. All right. What's over here? Unclaimed empty planets. Kind of get into the... Ooh, what's over here? Ooh, interesting. Ooh, that's like really far away. What's this? What's this? I want to look at it. You're super far away and isolated. You're a giant star. Oh, it's a set of stars. I wouldn't have guessed that. It looked like one star from as far away as we were. I like this green planet. What's on this green planet? Wow, look at these yellow plants. Nice. Oh, and it's a perfect home for our lily slugs. Mm, there we go. I'm happy to spread the lily slugs throughout the galactic empires. Ew, there's eyeballs here. Eat them, lily slugs. Eat them. Ah, oh, nasty eyeball things. All right, let's see. What's going on here? I love the cliffs. Dang. Nice cliffs. Don't see any animals just yet. I like the green crystals popping out of the ground. Very nice touch. Oh, there's something. Oh, it's more of those little plugs. You know, I'm okay with putting them on the herbivore planet that we've got going now. Kind of on the fence about if they are a slug species or not. What's over here? More plugs? Wow, there's a lot of plugs on this planet. All right. And then, well, not for long now that we added the lily slugs. Our first carnivores. Sorry, little guys. You gotta have a balanced ecosystem. Oh, and over here. Oh, some duckodiles. Cool. We've run into the duckodiles before. But it's a pretty little green planet. I like it. I like the nice ravines it's got going, too. All right, now let's see what else we've got out here. That's kind of cool. It's really off in the middle of nowhere. Like, it's very isolated. I don't think many other species have the technology to reach that far. We might be one of the few. All right. Are we, are we friends with these guys? I think we're friends with these guys. Why are they chattering at us? What's up? What's up, guys? You want to say hi? May, how are you, friend Omnipotent? May we balance your yin and yang? Thank you. Oh, we created an alliance with you guys. That's right. Um, here, let's just give him a present. There you go. This is a T2. Have we been here? I feel like we've been here. I don't know. Oh, we haven't been here. Alright. But I want to do a little bit more. Okay, we'll be back, Wobbles. I really want to do a little bit more, like, planet hopping exploring. So we'll be back. Don't worry, Wobbles. You've got a T2 there. I've got an eye up. See if there's any slugs hiding under your rocks. What do we have? Oop, there we go. Incoming transmission. We should be okay. Oh, hey! G purple spice planet! Not bad. Where are you? There. So, Gaius. Unclaimed purple spice planet. That might be where one of our new slug species goes, then. Peaceful allies. Interesting planet. Any herbivores? Oh. Only one herbivore. Wow, look at these guys. They're minotaurs. Oh, that's so cool. You know what we need to do? We need to creature tweak this guy to have cow spots. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. Now that I've finally figured out creature tweaking, we're going to have a lot of fun with that too. But let's do just a few more planet hops real fast over this away. Because we can. And we haven't done it in so long. Okay, yellow, yellow, yellow green ooh purple spice these are all blues though so you're going to be T0s yeah this is kind of an empty sector of the galaxy so far alright yellow spices oh there's a green uh, green rim not green spice but this is actually a good spot let's see what do we have here T1 so no, no aliens to abduct 
There don't seem to be any unique galactic formations out in this, this sector of the galaxy. Oh, but we do have a little species to peer at. The Moo Moo Boo Boo. The Moo Moo Boo Boo. Are you kidding me? And they're on a T2? What do you guys look like? Hang on. I'm going to rock your world. What do these even look like? They're so hilarious. They have like a red sand planet. What? Okay. What kind of animals live here with the Moo Moo Boo Boo? What is this? It's eyeballs again. I hate the eyeballs. They're so nasty. Oh, what's this? Are those lions? Are these lions? These are lions! You're coming with me. And they're, herbivore they're herbivorous lions. We're just going to take like the whole family. Come on, guys. Herbivorous lions. Just as I was thinking we had seen it all. Just as I was daring to think that. All right. Let's grab our little planetary scanner. Oh, oh. Somebody's down over here. Or it was. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Little herbivore. Oh, there it is. Oh, a scorpy! That's really close to being a slug. That's on the fence. But my my requisite for slugs is that they... Oh my gosh, it's a two-headed swiffer. Are you kidding me? Where was that? Okay, they're over there. I want it. Gotcha. There we go. I love abducting aliens. Okay, the swiffers have already been scanned. There's a couple more herbivorous lions. I am so happy about that. All right, what's down here? Aww, I like him. All right, little guy, I'm running out of cargo space, so I gotta get serious. And let's check the last carnivore omnivore on this planet. What's going on here? What's going on over here? Oh, oh you guys ready? All right, what is it? It's got legs, so it's not a slug. It's a snail boy. Interesting. So there we go. All right. Well, it's time to haul these guys back to our, our storage planet. Well, we've got enough space for one more. So we might do just a little bit more poking around, but we'll keep an eye on the Moo Moo Boo Boo and think about, do you guys think we should uplift them? I don't know. Let me know if you think we should uplift them because we, we have to be kind of picky about who we bring into the alliances. But at the same time, Moo Moo Boo Boo. I'm tempted. I really want to see what their philosophy would be. So we'll have to do a little bit more exploring and we'll see what else is out there in space in just a little bit, guys. Bye bye.